Hey everyone, this is Ross, and this is a video request on natural fish foods. There's actually quite a lot of fish foods that you don't need to buy at the pet shop. A good example of this is boiled potatoes. If you want to feed your fish potatoes, all you have to do is boil the potato for 10 to 15 minutes, cut it in half, and put it in the tank for 1 to 2 hours. If you leave it in the tank for more than 2 hours, it'll usually release much of its starch into the water and turn the water quite cloudy so make sure you take it out within about two hours of putting it in um, it also contains a lot of fat in the form of starch as I mentioned so if you feed your fish it too often it will get uh, fat and die so limit feeding potatoes to once every week or once every two weeks it's good for fattening fish up though if you get a fish from the store and it looks quite skinny and it doesn't look very well it's good to feed your fish potatoes then uh, I think you can feed them cucumber, you don't have to actually boil cucumber. The uh, problem with cucumber is it floats, um, so only fish that come to the surface will actually be able to get it. But you can weigh it down with a rock, and you can also get suckers that you can attach to the side, and you can actually hang it on the side with suckers. So that's really useful. You can also use an algae magnet just to pin it onto the side for the fish. Uh, so yeah, you can feed your fish uh, potatoes, cucumber, and I believe you can feed them other boiled vegetables. Um, you can just Google it, and it should tell you what you can feed your fish vegetable-wise. Another type of natural fish food is insects. In the wild, many fish like to eat insects. I think most of the fish in my tanks are actually omnivores. I think cory catfish are omnivores, cardinal tetras are, uh, gouramis, so... If you see a fly around the house, just instead of letting it out the window or instead of swatting it, try and catch it and feed it to your fish. It sounds quite harsh, but that would probably happen in the wild anyways, and it's great for your fish's diet. Uh, it adds an element of protein in the diet, which they hardly get. Um, so yeah, if you just see any small insects around the house, just throw them in. Um, insect larvae. An example of this is bloodworms. You can buy bloodworms in the store, but if you've also got some stagnant water in, in your garden or around your house, sometimes in summer you'll see small worms in the water, and those small worms are probably mosquito larvae or some other type of larvae. Um, they should be safe to feed your fish. Um, just net them out and put them in the tank. Um, just be careful with them because some of them may actually be parasitic but um, if they're quite large in most cases they'll be mosquito larvae um, another natural fish food actually occurs naturally in the aquarium it's just algae I've got a bit of algae on the side there if you can see I've been a bit lazy in this tank I've got a bit down there and uh, the fish like to eat it especially gouramis, live bearers and um, different things like that uh, plecos definitely like algae, I think that's one of their main foods. Um, so algae keeps them very healthy. Also plants, if you've got soft plants, things like rotella. If you go away for quite a while, you still need to feed your fish. But uh, your plants will actually break off sometimes and sustain your fish. So there's actually some natural foods in the aquarium. But as far as I know, they're all the natural foods you can feed your fish. I'm sure there's plenty of others, but you can just type that in on Google. Alright, so if you like this video and you found it helpful, please leave a nice comment, please like the video, and please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.